Hello. Today I am going to be talking about a uh, mechanic that I don't see taken advantage of very much, and that is uh, loadout scripts. Now, loadout scripts allow you to instantly change your loadout um, if you're standing in spawn. If you're not standing in spawn, the next time you either touch a resupply cabinet or respawn after death, you will have uh, the designated loadout. Now, I have a uh, mine bound to uh, seven, eight, and nine, and uh, I'll show you that in uh, down here in my uh, auto exec. Now, if you don't know how to use auto exec, it here's the pathway to uh, get to it. It's in config. This little file right here, auto exec. Basically, this will execute a command like automatically if you type it in here so you don't have to go in console and type it time after time after time. It'll just do it automatically. Now, uh, this is commented out and I'll get into that uh, why, why later, but at the moment just uh, think of this. Bind, then whatever key, minus 7, 8, and 9, uh, then load, underscore, item preset, and then 0. Now the uh, 0, 1, and 2 basically refer to uh, these uh, first three loadouts. The fourth loadout would be uh, uh, 3, but I personally never, ever, ever use my uh, fourth loadout. I only use the first three, so I just have those three keys. Now, why is this important? Well, other than, you know, saving you a short walk, it uh, has a lot of, like, cool utility to it because let's say you're playing engineer hence I'm playing engineer right now and you place a building and you upgrade it by using that little trick it allows you to uh, instantly fill your ammo now maybe this uh, this map RD asteroid isn't the best example because the resupply cabinet is right here but on maps like Upward, Badwater, countless, countless, countless other maps, it's a lot faster to just hit this uh, little button and instantly fill your ammo that way. Now, of course, Artery Asteroid is an exception, Steel is an exception, Harvest, I don't know why the hell you'd want to play on Harvest, is an exception. But in the vast majority of cases, using a uh, script to change your loadout will uh, be faster than having to walk all the way back to say this recent public cabinet and then walking all the way back to uh, your building. Um, it also works for uh, classes that aren't engineers, say um, Scout with Milk or say uh, Sniper with Jurati. It'll, it'll basically have any effect that just touching a resupply cabinet would, uh, anyway. Uh, you can also do some pretty cheeky stuff. Like, I was doing this, uh, on a, on a payload pub. I was kind of like playing sniper, and I was like in the middle of a duel with, uh, somebody across the way. And I'd fire, and then I'd instantly move my character <laughs> so he can like, shoot me back. That's pretty cheeky, and um, I don't know if it, it might be just confirmation bias that was working, but I think I think it could work. I don't know. Um, oh, it also helps for uh, medic. So let's say you're uh, healing someone, you're healing your um, your demo man, and um, you guys decide, oh, you know what? We should we should change to Uber, for example. You just uh, hit your key, and uh, next time you respawn. Or, next time you touch a resupply cabinet, it'll change your loadout to um, whatever your predecided loadouts are. Mine are as follows. So, let's say I wanted to go back to crits. I just press the 8 key. And then, after I either die or touch a resupply cabinet, I'll come back. Or, I could just cut out the middleman and... Whoop. Does it instantly. 
Now, uh, a few things. The only negative part about uh, about doing this is there are a few things that, with how it works, basically it's recreating your character uh, at a spawn point. But some things don't carry over, and those things are uh, rescue ranger crits, uh, islander heads. I think uh, bizarre bargain doesn't work. I'm pretty sure the um, the airstrike uh, kill streak thing doesn't isn't preserved either. But um, basically anything that that like has a physical counter will get reset, unfortunately. So in that case, you would want to touch a resupply. But for the most part, using the the script to instantly change your loadout is pretty is pretty good. Oh, it also helps uh, when, let's say, you're playing on payload, or you're playing on uh, 5 CP, and your team captures a control point. You can, since this changes, it, it basically forces you to respawn instantly. It'll get you forwards instantly without having to, say, like, change classes uh, like that. You just have to press a button, and it'll do it for you. Now, that's all cool. And this is getting into uh, why I commented this out. I used to uh, just have like these binds, oh, bind 7 to this, bind 8 to that, bind 9 to that. But after a while, I realized my hand was getting pretty tired of reaching all the way across on the other side of my keyboard to hit the 7 key, or hit the 8 key, or what have you. So I created I, uh, a slightly more elaborate version of the script, which involves aliases. <clears throat> now, basically what this does... Uh, what this little script does, as opposed to this one, will um, it will bind my mouse four key to whatever button I last pressed. So let's say, oh uh, yeah, let's stay engineer. Let's say I I press seven, so I have my rescue ranger um, wrangler loadout. All I have to do instead of reaching all the way across to the other side of my keyboard to press 7, all I have to do is press mouse 4, which is m my thumb button. So it's a lot more comfortable and I can do that. And again, with that little uh, cheeky strategy <laughs> that I showed you with the sniper, that's how I was I was doing it. I was just shooting, I was instantly uh, hitting my mouse 4 button after firing. And of course, do it with draw detail. Now, uh, if I change loadout, let's say I don't want to play a, a draw detail sniper, I want to play SMG sniper. Uh, now it bound my uh, mouse four button to uh, this loadout. So now, again, all I have to do is press this, uh, press that mouse four button, and that's about it. Trying to think of if there's anything else, they, how this script is useful. Oh, of course. Let's say you're 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 being chased down by a scout. And you're a poor innocent sniper that is on a kill streak and you don't want to die, and he's chasing you down. Uh, bam! You instantly <laughs> are uh, fully healed, and you're in a spot he can't get you anymore. Instead of, let's say, I, I'm sure it's happened to everyone at least once, you're on fire and you're running back to spawn. Oh, if only I could hit that resupply cabin and then you die right in front of it. With this script, that won't happen anymore because, uh, again, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll just, as soon as you walk through the, the spawn door, you'll just hit the mouse 4 button, or whatever, if you're using the simpler version, you'll hit your 7 key or 8 key or P key, whatever you have it bound to. Uh, and you'll be fine. And yeah, that's about it.